Hi, I'm Diana and you're watching It's About Time Now. Brad and I have come up to Kissimmee up in Florida for a final shakedown trip before we take our big trip out to Utah. We're going to show you a few things about this campground that are really nice. Come on along. That says it all. Happy camper place. Cool. All right, we have come up to Disney World. Actually, we've come up to Orlando and we are staying at the Orlando Kissimmee KOA. So let me take you for a little walk around, show you some of the amenities they have here. They have the deluxe cabins, which are really nice. They have several pool rooms. They have not only the standard sites, but they have the deluxe sites and the premium sites. This park has a lot. We really like the KOAs. They all seem to have the cabins. And all the KOAs we've stayed at so far have had the dog park. And here the pull throughs are really good. The standard sites are a bit tight, but um, not the tightest we've seen. Uh, they also have a swimming pool. So I'm gonna take you over to the swimming pool and show you that. Ah, uh, the pool looks so inviting. Florida gets hot, so this pool is great. So this is a really neat thing they have up at the pool. This covered deck with the high top tables. Very relaxing, definitely a Florida feel. And the laundry room has eight washers and dryers and 24 hour service. All right, so there is a pond here, but we did not see any alligators. As with most KOAs, the bathrooms were spotless. What we found at most KOAs is they're definitely kid friendly and dog friendly. And this one was no exception. It's really neat. All the sites here have full hookups yet they even have a dump station. All right. Oh. <laughs> Pulled me out the door. They sure did. All right. Okay, Santa. Let's help Dad out. So your thoughts about the place? I thought it was nice. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit of a drive to get over here from the parks, but it was quiet. About 15 minutes. Yeah. There's plenty of shopping around, plenty of restaurants. Yeah, there's a Waffle House. There's a Waffle House and a Wendy's right next to right, there. You can walk to that. And a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. I liked it. And there's a Dunkin' Donuts yep. just a mile down the road. <laughs> That's our favorite. Of course, Sapphire and Sienna's favorite is the dog park. about 15 minutes from Walt Disney World and maybe 20 or 25 from SeaWorld. This location had a huge playground, jump pads, and even a weight room. It had a lot of different amenities. To be such a small park, it really felt pretty big. And with the cost of Fort Wilderness going up over $200 this year, this site fit our budget very comfortably, especially to be so close to the parks. This location was in Kissimmee, just on the other side of what they call Old Town. This is an old section and has a lot of the older amenities to it, like medieval times dinner and tons of restaurants and places to eat and attractions and t-shirt shops, etc. We would definitely look at staying here again. All right, anybody see the hidden Mickey? <laughs> All right, so this one isn't so hidden. 